Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is George, and this is the Astrophotography channel for DSLR, or mirrorless camera bodies, combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventure. Now, tonight, I wanted to go over five points. And before I tell you what those points are, let me tell you, the other night, I was out with the New Moon crew, the group that I go out to do astrophotography with, and we were all kind of hanging around waiting for the, the, the moon to finally go down and get set up. And as I was looking at the night sky, I had commented to the rest of the crew that the conditions were looking really good for us to capture some excellent data. Now, we had been joined by some other astrophotographers that are new and in getting into uh, <laughs> this rather expensive hobby. And they were asking, well, how I knew that we were going to have good conditions for the night. And I thought, you know, that's a great point. So let me go over five points that you're looking for to know that you're going to have good shooting conditions. So first off, um, no wind. You don't want any wind. And I'm just talking about the low level winds at ground level. And the reason being is because any shake of your equipment, well, it's, it's going to cause your images to be a little bit soft, if not just flat out mess them up. Number two, when you look at the stars, you want the stars to not be twinkling in the night sky. Now, there are some stars because of their nature that do have a bit of twinkle, but as a general rule, stars don't twinkle. What you're actually seeing is disturbances in the air up at upper altitude. And those disturbances at upper altitude are actually bending the light, causing you to see twinkle. And so again, that's going to cause you to have a softness in your images. Number three, uh, no haze. Now, we will sometimes go out and shoot and wait, the, wait for the moon to set. And if you're looking up and you have one of those nights where there's just no haze ring around the moon, oh yeah, you've got great conditions up there at higher alt or higher elevation or higher altitude either or. Um, so if you've got a lot of haze going around that moon, you could either have uh, smoke or you could have a, a high humidity, something's going on. Your images are gonna be softer. So if you got that night where there's just no haze around that moon, Oh yeah, that's gonna be a sweet night. Uh, let's see here, number four. Uh, this one here has more to do with preparation more than the shooting conditions themselves. You want to wait until you're deep into the night hours where the big swing in temperature is over. And why that matters is because when, you're, uh, when you start shooting too early in the evening, your optics are going to shift slightly in their focus due to the cooling of your equipment. So although I can watch the clock to know exactly when to start shooting, um, I'm also actually watching the thermometer to see when we're kind of past the big swing in temperature for the night. And then I like to get shooting because otherwise I tend to get some softer images. And number five, you're also gonna be looking for those nights where you have low humidity. Uh, for some of you, depending on where you are, uh, you may be in a state that has high humidity and you just have to live with it. However, if uh, you're on a night where the humidity is particularly high and you can skip it, skip it. Uh, here in the desert, we have such low humidity that is generally not a problem. But to the best of your ability, try to shoot on nights that have lower humidity versus higher humidity. And I get it, for some of you, you're just stuck with high humidity. But I guess we could say, Go for those nights where you have less high humidity. So those are five quick tips for looking at the night sky to find those ideal conditions. So number one, no wind. Two, no twinkling stars. Three, no haze around the moon or in the sky. Uh, four, middle of the night temperature swing is already passed, so we've kind of settled into the night temp. And number five, 
avoid higher humidity nights. Okay, until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.